Hi everybody. Now that you are set up and you are you are logged into Google Apps, I want to uh, kind of walk you through a couple of things that are pretty cool. So right here, the screen that you're looking at here is your is your Google Drive. Okay, this is where basically every all your, your files that you create are stored. So you have My Drive here, and then you've got the Shared with Me, uh, which are all is all of the documents that people across Fairfax County are sharing with you. Um, you'll notice that you have anything that is in bold has been updated recently. So if, if that's kind of that's a way that you can tell if somebody has modified the document is if it pops up as bold. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you have a, a very special file that you want to um, work with often, um, what I do is I put a little star next to it. So what that does is that really just that takes you to the your most important files so that you don't have to go through all of this or you don't have to sift through all of these files you can simply just star it if it's super important and then you'll have a very short list of files that you're working with and you can unclick those things when you're done working with them okay so that's just some quick tips on the drive uh, what I want to do now is I want to just kind of take you to the mail feature of it. Now this is fcpsschools.net and one of the things I hear everyone saying is I don't want to have two email addresses. I'm going to forget and every, we are, we're too busy. Of course we're going to forget. So let's make it easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little part right here, this gear, and we're going to go to our settings and we're going to go over to this one right here where it says forwarding and what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that your email that comes into your FCPS schools inbox is forwarded to your Outlook account that way you don't have to go back and forth between accounts so if anything that comes into this account it's going to forward it to your Outlook so that you don't have to worry about it okay um, typically in most situations currently these files that you have, these emails are basically um, somebody sharing a document with you and it's telling you I'm sharing this with you. So you want to know when somebody's sharing something with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings, we're going to go to forward and this top one right here, we're going to go add forwarding address and what we're going to do is we're going to add our fcps.edu email. Okay, and it says do you are you sure you want to do this and yes I am sure I want to proceed okay so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna send you a confirmation code to your FCPS email so you're gonna open up your Outlook and hopefully it'll pop up here ah, there it is real time so it's telling you that this email address is requesting to automatically forward your mail to this address so what you want to do is you basically you just want to click on this link right here. Here's your confirmation code. So if I go back, uh, if I go back, you can put your verification code there. Let me go back. Or so I could I could take this and copy it, and then I could put it right here. That's one way, and I'll do that way. Or another way would be to simply click on this link. So clicking on that link verifies that you are successful and it says that you are successful. So you don't have to go back and, um, and, do, that, and do this part because I clicked that link. So that's two ways that you can verify. Okay, so now, now you, you, when you go back into your settings, so I go back to my inbox and I go to my gears, here's my settings and now it's telling me, okay, I'm set up. I'm going to forward a copy of incoming mail to this address, and I'm going to mark it, uh, mark it as read in this in my FCPS schools. Okay, and you have different options. You can keep it as as not read. You can archive it, or you can delete it. That's up to you. Um, I I just mark mine as read. That way, if ever you if it doesn't show up, you have a copy of it. Okay, so that's one quick tip for uh, forwarding your fcpsschools.net email to your Outlook.